Welcome back to The Modern Cigar. I'm your host, George Martin, and today I have a very special cigar. It's the DBL Baseball, uh, Baseball Bat Maduro. Um, as you can see, there's different leaves just for decoration. I won this in a contest here in Charlotte. Uh, Francisco Almonte hosted a you know, freshly rolled cigar event where you get a free fresh rolled cigar if you buy a couple ones. And I gotta tell you, everything I've had from that brand is very good. Um, he has wicked experience in in the industry. I believe he teamed up and worked for Lito Gomez at DB, uh, LFD and Fuente at Fuente. So he's got a lot of experience and he's starting his own brand. And I love everything I've had from him so far. So let's see if this is the next one. And I won't be cutting it. It's already pre-punched just for convenience. So this is the end we light. Handy dandy tabletop lighter. So I've had this sitting in its chest for a year now. I got it, won a raffle, got a message the next day that I won the raffle and I should go pick it up. And I've just had it sitting ever since for a little over a year now. So I'm pretty, it's been pretty, uh, pretty long wait to try it. So I figured let's do it now. I'm not sure if I lit it properly. It doesn't look fully lit. It's not really drawing well. I feel like I need to burn through the uh, the bottom bit before it's fully ready, so stand by. All right, so I'm not totally sure if it's completely lit. I don't know if I cut the, this handle part off. It's smoking properly. The draw's a little snug. I'm not sure if uh, right after this it'll, it'll open up, but I don't know, the flavors are decent so far. It's, it's pretty mild at this point, but I can't imagine it'll stay like that. Um, not the biggest fan of punches. Uh, might, I don't know, is it worth it to go and cut it? Uh, but let's, uh, let's see what happens. I'll update you if it drastically changes right after this little bit. All right, so we're about half an inch down. It's burning pretty slowly probably on account of the super snug draw. But I went ahead and I, I straight cut it because I'm not big on punches. And it's still on the snug side. It's not anything like, it's not plugged or unsmokable, but it's not that, you know, loose, open, whenever, however you want the draw to be kind of, kind of draw. But the flavors are on the sweeter side. It's mild to medium, medium at the most. It's not full of body at this point i imagine it'll transition as we as we get down but as of now it's 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 pretty good other dbls are better the the non uh, novelty sticks are much better so far but let's just see what happens so as i get down this it's uh staying staying the same it's still very wispy smoke it's not heavy clouds it's on the sweeter lighter side it's still mild to medium if anything it's less you know on the medium and more on the mild as unlike it was before um this is very unlike the dbls i've smoked it's they're usually medium to full either medium or medium to full some full body it's it's they're, they're not mild cigars by any means but what, what i am trying to say they have a line called the cheroots and they come in five packs in a Ziploc bag. They're not anything super fancy. They're on banded. They're like uh, five and a half by 40. You know, they're skinny cigars, but they are wrapped in, uh, they come in different wrappers, but one of them is a Lajero wrapper. So it's, they're, they're super strong, high, full-bodied cigars. And I kid you not, if you retrohale it, 
it burns so bad. Um, but the anyways, the the flavors are are insane on those cigars. They're very full body, very intense, spicy, earthy, on the sweeter side of things, and they're like five bucks a pop. So you can get a five pack for like twenty five bucks. Problem is, very few of their cigars are available online. So. I am fortunate that I have a local retailer that sells a lot of DBO, um, but otherwise, if, if you stumble upon them, really anything from their brand, I totally recommend you pick them up. Um, now, ordinarily, I would not recommend a cigar that's performing like this, but it's a novelty, it's not overly expensive, and you know, it's fun to talk about, so it's a, it's a conversation piece, so, but otherwise, DBL is a great brand, so I just wanted to plug them in, you know. But anyways, let's keep going. All right, so we're about, we're approaching halfway. It's burning pretty slowly, but I figured out why I'm not getting as many good, like, clouds of smoke. And just for some reason, the way it's shaped and the ring gauge and everything, it requires borderline triple, quadruple puffs. So once I do that, the flavors are really waking up. It's, it's, it's very rich, it's very smooth. This has about a year of uh, just age sitting in the humidor. It's very smooth. It's a, it's a smooth earth. It's not rich or decadent. It's not chocolatey like, let's say a Padron 2000 would be. It's, it's a dirty earth, but it's smooth. Uh, not desserty by any means. It's, it's uh, the opposite of desserty. Um, it doesn't have any spice, but there's like a pepper feel like a non-spicy pepper let's say um, yeah heavy on the earth smooth no spice no harsh no bite um, as I like roll it around here and play with it a bit the draw is opening up more and especially as I get down the draw is opening up um, yeah, it's not bad. It's a, uh, it's up to medium, medium to full body. It's definitely starting to show its potential, its strength, um, and its flavor, you know, intensity. But otherwise, it's it's doing much better than the original light. So let's keep going and see what happens. All right. So as we're entering the final bit, a little crack, but that's probably because I've been rolling it around trying to open up that draw. Um, the flavors are are still earthy, but that silkiness is really, you know, taking off at this point. The flavors are hitting right now, no pun intended. Um, you know, yeah, so it's still very earthy, still has that silky, you know, uh, smoothness. It's not overly decadent, it's not desserty and rich, but it's, it's very smooth. Wood flavors have been introduced since the last update. It's, it's, you know, part typical Dominican of a Swedish wood and because he has uh, experience with La Flor Dominicana it's got that earthiness that you would get in a uh, doubly harrow but the body is not as full it's medium at this point the uh, strength is I would say on par it's got it's got a bit of a kick but it's not you know no, no, no uh, dizziness, no head rush, no nothing. A um, little bit of spice is being introduced. It's, it's, uh, it's coming up. It's not super spicy. It's not like a typical Nicaraguan spice, but there is some spice going on. As you can see, the smoke output is has gone up insane. I've, it's definitely because the gauge, the ring gauge is opening up as it smoked down from the uh, the handle of the baseball bat. But otherwise, it's, it's getting much better. It did start very slow, very quiet, but right now it's, it's getting up there. So let's close it out and see what happens. All right, so this is where I'm gonna end it. It's just starting to just unravel and fall apart. And I I don't know what to, to equate it to. Is it because I rolled it around, tried to open that draw? Is it because the wrapper just 
cracked in one point and started spreading I'm not totally sure but and like the flavors are starting to get a little harsher so it's losing a lot of its smooth and silkiness it's still very earthy and very woody um, the body's still there so it's not like completely dropped off what do I think of it I think it's a great novelty stick I think it's a nice uh, conversation piece you know if you're a big baseball fan it's nice to have as a collector's item rather than a regular cigar to have uh, in your rotation I can't imagine these are all too available on a regular basis so if you come across one and it intrigues you I think you should get it because it's not totally common but if it's if if you're going to the lounge and you want a nice cigar to enjoy and there are other DBLs instead of this one, get them. Because those are, those are made to be, you know, enjoyable cigars. This is, this is made as a nice novelty. Um, but I got to give it to uh, Francisco for being just a great, you know, cigar brand owner and creator. Um, very nice guy when I met him. He's, he's very humble and, you know, has a passion for cigars. So, and it, it translates into everything he puts out they're not overly priced it's super expensive which is nice it's it's a great you know brand to try and enjoy on just a random weekday weekend whatever um, for instance I wrote an article on one of his regular production cigars on my website and it, it's a great stick it's medium bodied it was on the sweeter side it's it was woody and smooth and just you know a great cigar to have on I think it doesn't matter what day it was it was probably a Wednesday but yeah so DBL's uh an up-and-coming brand that I totally support and I believe will will start to do great things I think um, as long as they stick to their true you know formula that's the name of the, the cigar I was just talking about a few seconds ago if they stick to that recipe and just do what they do best I see them as being you know one of the powerhouses and in five-ish years once they start to really you know develop and establish their footprint um, an award from Cigar Aficionado magazine would would do great would do justice for their brand and I think that's one of those reviews that um, is well deserved when they get it and I know they're gonna get it so um, yeah DBL great brand this cigar just a nice novelty uh, and the thumbnail and the picture I'm posting on Instagram it's it's constructed beautifully you know it looks great it it had a lot of precision and care when making it and that was that's what I think is pretty pretty uh pretty DBL uh esque so anyways this has been the modern cigar and I hope you enjoyed the video if you liked it hit that thumbs up please hit that subscribe button because that really helps you know drive this channel further and yeah so i'll catch you on the next video thank you